This video will demonstrate the proper way to re-ink an X-Stamper Versadator Dater. Federal Stamp and Seal Fesco is a licensed X-Stamper manufacturer and X-Stamper is our pre-ink line of choice. Please note that every X-Stamper that we manufacture comes with re-inking instructions that we encourage you to save for later usage. If your Versadator is in the format where you only have the date itself and not the additional base, these are the proper steps you'll use. You'll wrap your fingers around the brown base and pull and separate the brown base from the green portion of the stamp. There are two small holes in the black area of the stamp where the ink is going to be poured into. There are special small bottles of ink that you use for this process because they'll fit neatly into the holes themselves. So we're going to separate one of the small bottles and we're going to use a pair of scissors to cut the top off exposing the ink. Now, now that we have the ink exposed we're going to put the tip of the bottle down into the stamp and squeeze approximately half of the ink into the stamp itself from the one side and then we're going to flip it over and squeeze the other half of the ink into the stamp from the other side. After the ink has been applied into the stamp, we're going to put the base back on and let the stamp sit for approximately 24 hours to reach full ink saturation. Now, the Versadator also comes with a base. So you might have received your stamp in this format. If your stamp is in this format, the re-inking process is very similar. You're going to wrap your fingers around the beige base and you're going to pull the entire base off itself. Again, exposing the two holes, which we just re-inked, but then you also are going to be able to re-ink the base itself. Now the base has a separate ink tray on the bottom, right here in black. The one side says push, so we're going to push the tray of ink, or the, the stamping tray, out from here and that's going to expose four ink wells. So we're going to take our small bottle of ink that we used and we're going to put two to three drops in each quadrant of the base itself. Now the base has two arrows to indicate how we're going to slide it back in. So now that we've got our ink applied, we're going to slide it back into the base and then we are going to take our date part snap that back into the top and we're going to let this sit for approximately 24 hours as well to allow for proper ink saturation.